Central Banks and GDP. Hello, this is Ahura with another weekly outlook. In the week ahead, central banks meeting in China and New Zealand, inflation in Euro and important data from the United States, including GDP, durable goods orders with the personal income and spending, will be the most important economic data to watch. On the other hand, geopolitical tensions will be the main market driver. Last week ended with a little bit of peace after the report that Secretary of State Blinken will meet with the Russian Foreign Minister Lavrov next week. Let's review the most important data and events of the week ahead reminding that the Monday US and Canada will be closed respectively due to the President and Family Day. Number 1. Chinese Interest Rate Decisions People Bank of China will update the interest rates on Monday. Unlike other central banks that are planning for more tightening policies, PBOC increasing its support levels. Last month, they cut the 14 days repo rates by 10 basis points and repeated the same action last Monday for the one week repo and one year midterm landing rates. For this meeting, we are not expecting any new changes. This policy is supposed to lift the Chinese stock markets and put more pressure on the Chinese yuan. Number 2. PMI data. While Monday is a holiday in the United States and Canada, it's a very busy day in other economies. Japanese service PMI, Eurozone manufacturing service and composite PMI in line with the same data from the New Zealand, Germany and United Kingdom all together creating a very important and busy day. Overall, we are waiting to see the progress in January's number, as we saw last week in the retail sales data. Expected positive data and regardless of the possible geopolitical tensions should be welcomed by the stock markets. US PMI data will be out on Tuesday. Number 3. US Consumer Confidence Consumer confidence is one of the most important economic indicators. Higher confidence means more spending, increasing retail sales and GDP as a final result. For January, mostly because of geopolitical tensions and uncertainty in the market ahead of Federal Reserve meeting, we are expecting to see the number falling back under 110. Weaker than expected data will put more pressure on the US dollar against its crosses and vice versa. Number 4. RBNZ meeting The Reserve Bank of New Zealand will announce its monetary policy decisions on Wednesday. The market expectations is that the central bank will raise rates another 25 basis points to 1%. The latest published data in New Zealand showed a solid rebound in quarter 4 2021 and now with the quarter 4 inflation numbers seen at 5.9%, more tightening policies are getting more likely. However, as the RBNZ governor mentioned, moving towards hawkish policies should be a little bit more cautious. Therefore, a 50 basis points rate hike is unlikely. This policy will lift the Kiwi against its crosses. Number 5. UK and EU Inflation After fast increasing inflation in January, continuing increasing energy prices including oil, gas and electricity, confirming the continuing of increasing prices. Higher inflation will increase the expectations of European Central Bank to raise interest rates and should support the euro to increase against its crosses. And in the UK, the BOE governor and some MPC members will testify on inflation and economic outlook before Parliament's Treasury Committee. And finally, number 6, Friday and this important data. Friday data will be very important in the US economy and clarify the expectations from the central bank. Both personal income and spending are expected to increase. This gain in prices helped the PCE deflator to raise 0.6% over the month and 6.1% on the annual scale. On the other hand, we will have durable goods orders as well. Orders are expected to increase a little bit, however, it will be thanks to 77 Boeing orders. These expected data will increase the inflation concerns and expectations from the Federal Reserve for faster reactions. Mentioned data should not be in the favor of US stock markets. Thanks for being with us and hope this week is going to be an amazing week for you.